The time has come. There's no way out of this one. You're done. It all started back in eighth grade. We went to a Lakers game. I didn't get him courtside tickets. And he got super aggressive. He threw me in the bathroom. He did aggressive things. Many months later. So we're gonna start it out with Andrew Kingsley. He's gonna tell us about his friendship with Pete and when it all started. Well, I've been friends with Pete since sixth grade. He's always been a pretty chill dude. And then it was one day, it was the summer, finally got his first buzz. And then after that, he just really hasn't been the same since. He's been touchy with every dude. You know, he's been saying some weird remarks. So I just don't know what happened to the sweet guy I knew. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> so, uh... We're just going to talk with Andrew Kingsland and his personal experience with uh, Jaden Petrie. Well, I remember it was at football practice. During pre-practice, you know, everyone was just getting warmed up and everything. And I seen him tying his shoes. So I just you know, it's a joking friend I am. I go over and bump him with my knee. And mm -hmm. He just says, you should just put your cock and balls in my mouth. <gasps> I didn't even know what to do the rest of practice, to be honest with you guys. And then after, in the locker room, was just terrible what he did to me and Kratos. What did he do? He pinned, pinned us both against the lockers and stripped our girdles off and <gasps> no. fucked us. Fucked you? Did he say anything? He said you're gonna take it like a man. Oh my gosh. That's awful. This is uh, Kratos, and he's going to say his relationship with Pete and how it all started and where he's at right now. It started 20 years ago when I birthed him in my basement. He was one of my favorite sons. You know, we used to play catch together, play ball. And one day, I don't know what happened, he just snapped. I heard hear stories. He's touching dudes, hooking dudes and shit. Today, we're here with Kratos. And he's gonna explain the event and what happened. All right, so today, during weights class, we did yoga. And I was just running my business, trying to stretch my body, trying to recover from yesterday. And I look behind me and I just see Pete staring. <laughs> I felt kind of like telling him, please stop. I just smile. I just like, stop. I'm still smiling. I'm trying to ignore him. I see him. So you said you broke down crying again after you put three fingers up your ass. Yeah, he, he went, I was just so surprised. I was like, how could you keep going in front of everybody here? Next thing you know, I have a fist. I got a fist. I'm sorry. So, uh, Petrie, I'm going to be talking about like, how I met him and how I know him. And basically, it all started back when I was like, Mm -hmm. I was playing soccer. I didn't really know much. I didn't even know who he was. And this one kid told me to come with him because his soccer ball was in the creek and he didn't want to help. So I followed him. And when I got over there, he like grabbed my arms and I was like, what the hell are you doing? And, and uh, I didn't fight back. I'm not, not the aggressive type. And Petrie, well, I didn't know it was Petrie, but grabbed my arms and pulled down my pants. I was, I was astonished. I didn't, I didn't know what to do, so I pulled down my pants and I ran off. And later that year, I quit soccer. I thought soccer was a gay sport until that moment. Take your time. It's all right. It's all right. I couldn't take it. Petrie made me quit soccer. He's the one that made me stop. It was it was awful. And it's, from that day on, I couldn't see soccer the same. It was it was a gay sport. And I found out it was you, Jaden Petrie. You did it. Wait! There's more! My experience with Jaden Petrie, it's awful. Plain as that. It's a football game. Halftime comes and 
I have to stretch out. I'm tight. You know, I've been kicking all game. It's cold. And so I'm like, I'm complaining about it. And Petrie's like, oh, you want me to stretch you out? And I didn't really think anything of it. I was like, yeah, I did. Like, just focus on the game. Sure, stretch me out. And... It's all right, take your time, take your time. And then I was like, all right, let's just do it right here. And he was like, no, let's let's go to the wrestling room. And I was like, what's the wrestling room? And I was like, yeah, like, it's the mat, it's soft, better than the concrete. And I was like, you know, like, okay, fine. Yeah, let's go to the wrestling room. Follow him in there. And when I walk in there, it starts going a little weird when, uh, turn around, He's locking the door. And I was like, well, <laughs> why are we locking the door? Yeah. And then, and then I'm like, go around, and I'm just like, and he's like, oh, like, I don't want the, the other team to come in. I was like, oh, shit, yeah, that's, that's smart, that's smart. And then he's like, just lay down right there. And I was like, okay. And then he's like, gonna do his little hamstring stretch where he like puts my leg up, and when he's putting it up, he tied my leg to my head tied my leg to my head and I was kind of like what the hell are you doing and then he ties my other leg it it was getting bad I didn't know what to do He's, both my legs pretzel to my head <laughs> it's alright it's alright it's alright give me composure do you know what he did he fucked me fucked me Fucked. <laughs> and pulled down my pants and he fucked me. Fucked me. Fucked me. All 20 minutes straight. Just, it was awful. I couldn't even bear it. And I was just laying there. He just fucked me. It was. It was awful. Sign his ass. So, my favorite. There's a lot that goes into this. I have to go through all the details. For starting, I would have to go with Evan and Ute. The reason I say Evan and Ute is because when we had sex, <laughs> he bounced on that jiggly thing. <laughs> Eric's gonna be ready in 30. So, Evan Ute. Evan Anthony Ute. He, he completely bounced on that thing. And he was a great bouncer. And and when he ate that shit like a fucking tortilla chip, that was the greatest moment of my life. Who second that? And I fully felt every effect of it. It was like an earthquake shattering my bedroom. And that is all I have. Jaden, you have a deep history. I, can I ask you, what made you be gay? Well, you know, let me tell you. It all started around two and a half years ago. And, you know... January 25th, 2019. Just, just, you know, the amount of fine selection of fine young men around the school really just made me decide, you know? Okay. I need that dick in that ass. <laughs> okay. Jin, in the start of your gay career, I should say, who were your early targets? You know, just like start off, my number one that really like transformed me into this transformation, I would have to go with Joshua Fonkwe. And the reason behind Joshua Fonkwe is uh, just that black <laughs> dump truck. And, and that, just looking at that dump truck made me think of Kyle Lowry. And I'm like, I need that Kyle Lowry booty. <laughs> Pete, since your start of January 25th, 2019 mm -hmm. in eighth grade, who's been your favorite target in each grade since? Well, obviously, as a question before, um, it would be Joshua Fonkway, as I stated before previously. You know, eighth grade, just that Kyle Lowry booty really hit different. Um, and at freshman year, Freshman year, that's a tough decision. That's COVID year and everything. Um, I'm gonna have to go with, I would say Kyle Luters. You know, even with the face mask, I could I could just stare at that nose. 
that nose really hit different um and you know just my favorite thing to do was just take take pictures of him secretly in the hallway as i walked by and i have, I have another question yes uh, during covid you know you couldn't really leave the house no one uh -huh. could what would you do in quarantine you know it was just a lot of looking at yearbook photos and just yeah um so the wait, yearbook wait, really wait, helped can I, what you say can, 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 can i ask what'd you do with the yearbook pictures uh you know just just hit the bird on the flappy type shit um with the yearbook photos and um that really just transcribed life um and then obviously freshman year we come back it was sophomore very year. Uh, it was very sophomore happy. year um sophomore year hmm sophomore year i think i'm gonna have to go with i would say mark scott because you know just mark scott very lengthy motherfucker and uh he was just he was just long and uh he was he definitely was long in two ways and uh that's really all I gotta say about good old Marky Mark. Um, junior year, this current year, I'm gonna have to go with Lenny. <laughs> um, Lenny, um, Lenny just you know really taught me what it was like to be a great human being, and he taught me many valuable skills. And you know, on that football field during those pregame talks and stuff, just. All I can look at is his ass. And I just, that's really all I got. This is Trey Bird, his unit leader, and he's talking on Petrie. All right, so yeah, like after practice one time, I was just breaking it down. Like together we win right here, right now. Just inspirational stuff. Like it takes everybody to win. And, and then uh, just all of a sudden, I just felt something on my ass. Oh my gosh. And like, it was just, Jade and Petrie was just digging in. And oh. I just, he was trying to hide it, but. Like, I couldn't let it slide, and I just didn't know what to do, and I just, you know, I just took it, and I just went home, and, like, I cried, and it just still haunts me to this day. Yep. All right, this is Sebastian Turner on his experience with Jaden Petrie. I'm survivor of Jaden Petrie. Uh, I was just in class doing my assignment. Then one day, I felt something funny, and it wasn't too funny, and, you know, I am uh, here with KJ Tuffman, he's going to be talking about his experience with Jaden Petrie. So, in the summer, right before I had to leave, you know, I don't really remember a lot that happened. You know, me and Petrie were hanging out, you know, like we do, because, you know, we're pretty good friends. And, you know, at one point, I don't remember, I fell asleep, and then I woke up on my back. You know, I just had underwear on, I remember I was fully clothed, and then Petrie was gone. And you know, I just, I just couldn't stand up. I was just Is it? laying there. I couldn't do anything. My butt was hurting. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Is it possible you were drugged? You know, my problem was, you know, Petrie. You know, he wouldn't just leave like that. You know, and I just, I just, I didn't know how to take it. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's really good. People need to hear this. That should never happen. Petrie needs to be stopped. Yes. Okay. I am uh, here with Ben Gillan. He's going to tell his story about Jaden Petrie. I just want to start off and tell everyone that Pete just tried to bend me over in the locker room full of boys. It's awful. Um, but I just want to start off with whoever this has also happened to, I'm sorry. I, th I feel like everybody in this school has been going through it. But to start off with my story, I need a second. I need a second. Uh, thought I was feeling you. No. No. Nigga a munch. All right, so he just broke down crying, but he's back. Before everything happened, I didn't know what he's been doing, and but we went to we went to the pharmacy. You know, he said he needed a couple things. He told me to be a distraction, and then he stole narcotics. He stole narcotics. And do you know what he used those narcotics for? He told me later that night when I was, I, he had. He had my legs chained up to the bed with my legs up. Okay. And he okay. was just telling me, he was ranting to me. He said that he's used it on multiple people. Twan fucked him in the van after fucking putting, giving drugs to him. Here he uh, is. Here, here he is. is. No, no, he's coming. He's coming. He's scared. He's scared. Oh my gosh. Pete, say sorry to the people. I'm not saying sorry to shit. Oh my gosh, Pete. Say you're sorry. 
This is Emron. He's going to talk about his experience with Jaden Petrie. Bro. It's okay. It happened in the parking lot, bro. No. I was coming out of my car. And I was trying to get my backpack. He drove up right next to me, bro. No. Oh my God. Not in the minivan. Oh my God, bro. He just came up right next to me. He tried to stick it in, but I couldn't let him. No. I so couldn't let him. This is awful. I don't know why, bro. I don't know why this is happening. I need a minute. <laughs> yeah, we can go to the so we might have to cut it short. We might have to cut it short. Okay, we are going to talk with Jackson Dumont and his personal experiences on Jaden Petrie. So I was, you know, getting prepped up, locked in for the JV football game. And we run up to the locker room. I see Pete. He's chasing me. And I get it to my locker. And I. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Take a moment. Take a moment. Take a moment. Okay, we'll give you a moment. We'll give you a moment. Went to my locker, I unlocked it, and he says, Next time you unlock your locker, take off my pants and unlock me and stick your key in my hole. And I was like, What key? And he's like, My penis, your penis. And I was like, Oh my god, Petrie, I can't do that to you. That's weird. And then he, he forcibly grabbed my wiener and he started twisting it and playing with my balls. And he sat down after that. And he Throw it back, Pete. Throw it back. That's game. Um, like saying that I have juice wants to dick in my mouth, like that's kind of like a compliment. To be what about sucking LeBron's dick? The offers. I mean, what are you gonna do? Say no. Say no. Go no. I'm gonna eat the goat juice. So, Pete. Uh huh. How did you get scoliosis? Well, you know, I go around telling everyone that I was born with it, but it was really just from, you know, Marky Mark hitting that thing from the back. Mark Scott? That, that quite literally just broke my back. Yeah. Dig me down, booty hole. hole, that's how you already know. I'm, I'm a queer, my, my dog will probably rape you till your booty melt. That's just, that's just all he know, he don't know nothing else. I tried to blow him. Wrong neighborhood. He lives here, he lives with next to me. Tried to blow him. Yeah, yeah. Spread the cheese, slick the booty hole. Young little flame, he in dicko mode. Whoa! Big round near, oh yes, I like to send him news. Leave the gays outside, he like to fuck it till we lose. Yeah, dildo boys, that's dildo practice with the loot. The dick way too big when he pull up, send me the nudes. Send me the nudes. Took the Jimmy, I rubbed his hoose. Had to grab my own towel, clean the lube. Booty always locked down, the cum shoot. That's 4 a.m. and then back shots, it's feeling cool. Suck your mom slurping off the cock like Jabba Juice. Different colored cock, so that penis probably looking new. And I'm cooking, man, I know the woman wish it was a dude. Someone said, the What do you have to say to all the young kids out there looking to be like you? Um, don't be gay, because I'm not gay. Ho, oh, ho, brother, ho, oh, whoa, 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 now. You got too much dip on your chip. Hey, Queen Chaco LA, I want that big fucking dick right on my Evan, fucking mouth. Right down my fucking throat. I want you to touch the fucking little back thing in my throat. My name is Jaden Petrie. And I approve this message.